The second day in a row, parents at an Austin school had to figure out last minute child care because of a power outage. It happened yesterday at Summit Elementary in Northwest Austin and today at Doby Middle School in Northeast Austin. Parents lined up outside to pick up their kids, saying it was just too hot and not safe to leave their kids at that school. Nabil Ramadan tells us why parents say they aren't happy with the way the district let them know about the problem. Good morning, Doby Roadrunners. Parents lined up at Doby Middle School on Tuesday. And they haven't had any electricity since school began this morning. As students waited inside a school with no power. The first thing we walked in, it was pitch black. I had to use my phone for a flashlight. No power meant no AC. Parents sent us pictures of a dead raccoon they believe is related to the outage. Students telling me they sat around with nothing to do. We went into the class, it was hot. Some parents arrived on campus to pick up their kids. One of the issues they brought up, safety concerns. It's a big concern because of everything that's going on around in the schools, the shootings, you know. Our kids come first, so I'm glad my son did call me. Ophelia Reedy is a parent and teacher. She left with her son. There are so many levels of like safety that I was very concerned about for myself and my son. Um, so I just decided to go home. I reached out to the district to find out what went wrong. They sent me an email they said they sent to parents, stating the 7th and 8th grade areas of the school had no power until just after 10 a.m. But many parents arriving said they had no idea about the power outage until their kids called them. We were not informed that the electricity was out. Only reason why I got informed is because my daughter was able to call me. Anybody could have entered the school and anything could have happened. So, you know, I'm really upset that nobody even called. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. And Austin ISD says a rodent caused today's outage and that the age of the system meant that when it went down, multiple things failed, meaning what could have been a 30 minute fix ended up lasting four hours. The school district is asking voters in November to approve a bond for school improvements and if approved, Doby would get a new electrical system and an enclosure project, which apparently keeps the rodents from getting into the wiring as well.